Hello and happy Monday everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Amethyst Snakes and this is the first video on my channel for 2023 but also the first video of a new project of mine which is called Project Evergreen Harbor. Now just a bit of a background concept of what project evergreen harbor is all about basically it's me creating new builds renovating existing homes creating new sims who will be moving into the evergreen harbor and giving them background stories and skills and careers already and making over some of the existing households that already live in this world and i think it's such a good way to be on cas be on create a sim mode as well as build mode so then i'm not always just stuck on live mode even though i do enjoy my let's plays now i know it's been a while i am so glad to be back and I know that I've just had an unplanned sabbatical, but hey, every once in a while you do need a break just for the creative juices to replenish itself and start flowing once you are ready and I am ready. I have all of these ideas which I collated and actually sent, not sent, but which I actually shared on Instagram, yes, I do have Instagram now for my sims as well as for my books and stationery. And I also shared my plans on Twitter and Tumblr as well as in the community tab here on YouTube. But I will still talk about it later on, maybe towards the end of the video, what those plans are. But for the meantime, let's focus on the sims that are currently on your screen so this two sims are the first sims who will be moving into evergreen harbor so this is Eloisa Santino and along with her is Diego Monte Carlo now Eloisa and Diego are both college sweethearts and they are newly graduates from the University of Brightchester and you know they decided to move to evergreen harbor they are a young couple with big dreams, big aspirations, and they also come from affluent families. Now, they do have savings themselves, but I guess coming from that particular family background, it really did help them purchase the Shipping Views lot. So, spoilers, the Shipping Views, I will actually create their home and in that particular lot it's actually going to function as both their home and office now eloisa is an interior decorator and diego is a civic engineer who hopes to be a civic planner one day and like i said both of this couple they have very very big dreams and big aspirations and they wanted to set up their own business they wanted to set up their own company but of course it's only just going to be them two at the start an interior decorator and a civic planner or a civic designer now the story of this so that's the background story but basically what awaits this young couple in the world of evergreen harbor is up to whoever plays with them now they are good people they are but i think they're going to clash with some of the existing members of the community in evergreen harbor especially for example the greenberg family who tends to lean towards a greener future a greener world i think our young couple is more into industrialized side of things um, and i think that's where the views are going to clash and especially because you know they've just set up their own home they've just set up their office and now they are probably not bombarding the residents but just kind of sharing their views vocally and like i said their views 
don't tend to lean towards a greener future. So yes, so firstly, Aloysia Santino. So she is a young adult. Like I said, her career is going to be an interior decorator and she earned a distinguished degree in fine arts at Rochester University. And her aspiration is to become a painter extraordinaire. Now the traits that I've given Aloysia already are creative, she's outgoing, I think she needs to be, especially when she's dealing with different clients, and she's also an overachiever. And I'm also going to be giving her the satisfaction reward traits of observant. Now the skills that she will have already in the game will be charisma, photography, media production, entrepreneur, and painting. Now, I think in regards to Eloisa, she has a very preppy, trendy fashion sense, and I think she has great fashion sense as well, like it's always on point. And a part of me is already making kind of like the background story of her family, and I think they're probably living in Del Sol Valley, which I will delve on a little bit later on. And I think she also has a mix. I think there's a mix of Asian and Spanish features in her. And I think this is also a great way for me to practice different or practice creating different kinds of sims because I don't want my sims to be looking the same every single time. Not to mention it will also help me practice creating male sims because for some reason I tend to create a lot more females and I'm a bit more comfortable in creating females than creating male sims. Not to mention I don't have a lot of CC for my male sims as well so it doesn't really help. Now here is Diego. So Diego Monte Carlo he is also a young adult and his career is a civic engineer but like I said I think he's going to be wanting to lean more into becoming a civic planner rather than a green technician he's earned a distinguished degree in history at Barchester University and yes I may have said that he is not leaning towards a greener future but he's his aspiration is to become an eco innovator and his traits in the game already will be outgoing he is a genius and he is also ambitious now the skills that he will have will include logic charisma handiness entrepreneur and media production now i really wanted both of the sims to have the entrepreneur and media production skills because i think they are going to be relying a lot on social media to get their company across to the people especially since it's a very very new company it's a new design company so they kind of need to voice it to everyone that hey we are here in evergreen harbor if you need anything um, interior designing civic planning or civic civil design um, hit us up basically so i think they are going to be relying a lot on social media in order to get their company across to everyone in the sims world now so just a little bit about so that's the two sims that will be moving into evergreen harbor and now i just really want to talk about my plans um for 2023 for my channel and basically there is also going to be project del sol valley so i'm going to be working on two worlds i'm just going to be going to them it really depends on my mood if i feel like i have more ideas in evergreen harbor then i'll stay in evergreen harbor but if i've got ideas for del sol valley then i will go to del sol valley and then my let's play will still continue my whimsy expanded and my star sign legacy challenge because i adore malaya and phoenix and their stories aren't over yet and the stuck in their shadow scenario is still ongoing so i will finish that off and i think i may do another one or two let's play on my channel maybe once i've reached generation two or three for either or both of my existing let's plays already i'm also going to be starting another legacy challenge but i'm mainly focusing on 
most likely storytelling through Tumblr and Twitter and probably Instagram as well. And I just kind of want to participate more on challenges that the Sims community would put out, like the monthly challenges. So whether it be create a Sim or a build. And I'm also going to be writing my own legacy challenge, which is still in the works. So now you're just having a look at some screenshots of both Aloysa and Diego. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait to put out more content for all of you guys and I'm super excited. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!